I have put this video off for way too long. <laughs> Hello YouTube, welcome to my life or back if uh, you've seen me before. I'm going to show you my entire brush collection today um, to kind of hold myself accountable because it's a lot. <laughs> it's more than I need and I tend to just use new brushes instead of washing old ones. So I've been putting this off because my brushes are never all clean at the same time, especially if I'm getting ready for a video. I'm dirtying up brushes and then gonna show you. So some of these brushes are dirty. <laughs> But that's just life, right? Um, so we're going to be real. We're going to show you the nitty gritty. I'm going to tell you what I would buy again, what I recommend, and uh, what you don't need. Are we ready? Let's do this. I currently have my brushes in uh, something like this. This is for all my big face brushes. And this is for all of my eyes. <laughs> and then I've got some travel ones. Yeah. It's bad. It's really bad. Um, so I was just going to go through this kind of willy-nilly, and now I'm sitting here like, you know, a professional would do brand by brand and that kind of thing. So I'm going to try <laughs> to do it that way, um, maybe brand and then type of brush, that kind of thing. Okay, are these all my real techniques? Oh my gosh, it's going to be so much time wasted. So I do like the Real Techniques original line. <laughs> And I'm going to show you what I got for them. Uh, some of them are dirty right now because they're my most used, to be honest. Um, I really like this blush brush. It's big and fluffy and it really stops me from over applying because it kind of spreads out the color and you kind of, you can tap it off if you want to and go in. I think it's great for bronzer as well. I should have used it today. <laughs> Instead of that little brush I did that put the color a little bit too concentrated, maybe more than a little bit too concentrated. Um, so this I use all the time. I'm really sad when it's dirty. I'm trying not to buy a second one because that's ridiculous, but <laughs> I do really, really like this one um, for, you know, doing that three all over the face kind of feel. Next, this is like a travel one. I think this is for foundation is what I use it for the most. Yeah, I'd recommend it. I mean, the bigger one's probably better. I don't know if that is my favorite foundation brush, but for travel, I really appreciate it. This contour one I also use um, for foundation as well as like if I have a cream contour, which I don't right now, I don't think it's necessary. It depends like if you, if you need something to blend a cream contour, it could be good and really good in there. <laughs> but it's not one that I reach for all the time. This I love. Oh, okay. I have a regular size one and I have a mini one in my travel. I I think it's the eyeshadow brush. Yeah, it's a shading brush. I use this. So I put on my concealer and then I blend it out with this because it's so fluffy and it just kind of diffuses it. So I need two of them. Sometimes I put it on with one of them and then I blend it with the other one. <laughs> I really like that brush. This fan brush is it's fine. I mean, fan brush is a fan brush is a fan brush to me. I actually have a cheaper one that I like better, um, even though that one's kind of falling apart. But this one's just a little too skinny and a little too stiff for my liking. This is the larger version of the foundation brush. I actually like the mini better. Or this is the all-over face brush. It's okay. It's a little bit streaky. Again, it's okay. I wouldn't buy it again, but I don't regret purchasing it. Um, this I really like. This is the setting brush, and I do like it for that. I like this for multiple reasons, and it's dirty with blush right now. Um, I like it for setting the under eye. I like it for applying highlight sometimes. And I like it for kind of just doing a little bit of blush. So if you have really pigmented, you can pop this in, you tap it off, and then you have really controlled blush. So the other one's kind of like poof, and you're done, and this one's like, mm, you know. <laughs> you can get in there like that. Um, yeah, I really like the setting brush. This one, oh, I like it so much. I have two of them. That's actually good to know. <laughs> because, um, because I was always so sad the other one was dirty and I kept putting off washing it and I have a second one, which I don't recommend. It's unnecessary. It's excessive. But I like it. I really like that one. Um, I just like stippling brushes in general. So I do enjoy this one. Not for super pigmented. I actually think it's a bit dense for like a red blush or something. 
Um, I would go in with the e.l.f. stipple brush instead. See this one it's like bigger and longer and floofier. <laughs> floofier? I don't know what you say, but yeah. <laughs> um, for that kind of thing. But I think for cream blushes, it's great. But even I tend to use again, so these are more affordable. This is the e.l.f. small stippling brush um, that Emily Noel always talks about. But they're not they're not the highest quality. Like these ones you can see little hairs coming off of because they're so used. I use them so often. Um, but again, I like to have the control with the small stipple brush. So it's okay. I might just get an e.l.f. one, you know. Okay, I think this is all the rest of my e.l.f. ones apart from the two I already talked about. So I have ones from like, how long has Elf been around for? I think 15 years ago? Is that right? Could that be right? Because when I was first starting out in makeup, Elf was a dollar for everything and we always <laughs> place like really big orders. Um, so I, I have duplicates of all these brushes and they've held up really well for that long. Like I do wash these and I do use these. Um, I think these are considered their lip defining brush from like their original line and I don't use those for that <laughs> at all. I use these for inner corner highlights because they're just so soft and small and you just pop it right in here or if you do the brow bone I don't really do that but they'd be really good for that or like right here or like you know small detail work so I still use those I still love them. I have duplicates of all of these. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> this, I was really into doing like a soft cat eye and I still do this sometimes instead of a liner. This is the professional defining eye brush. So I just take it and I go like, like here and like here with a darker color. So I'll put like a light champagne all over the eye and then I do that on the outside. Ooh. Kind of give me that feline-esque but softer. And I don't know if that's a good look, but I can I can show you how to do it if you want. <laughs> I think I've worn it in some videos, most notably my IKEA haul, so I don't know. Do I have three of these? This is why you should check before you do videos. No, it's more authentic this way. <laughs> okay, so these are the e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush. Um, I don't use these often. These are like if you need to press down an eyeshadow, which I think most of us just go straight in with a blending brush if I'm not mistaken. So I used to use these all the time and now they're good to have, I guess. Again, they've, uh, they've withstood the test of time, so that's pretty amazing. Now these are the newer, and I still mean years ago, but these are newer than the white ones. Um, I don't even know what they call this. This is like the black e.l.f. brushes. This is the e.l.f. fan brush, which is the one I was saying I actually prefer to the Real Techniques one. I think these ones were two dollars, so they must be the fancier version. They're double the price, oh my gosh. Um, I think this is the perfect amount of like fluffiness to get a really, and it's soft, like do you see? Like it's super soft and supple to get a highlight on, that kind of thing. Um, so if they make this, I do recommend it. I like it better than the Real Techniques one. I use it more often. This uh, Terry Miyahira on YouTube recommended. Um, she must have more space on her eyes than I do. I'm not the biggest fan of this. I think it's like a shading brush or something. Is it, or is it a concealer brush that she just uses on the eye? Anyway, it's okay. I use it sometimes if I want to do one eyeshadow and be done with it. It's good to have. This one I use all the time because it's kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury one. I don't know if it actually is. I've never owned that one because it's um, made with real animal fur, I believe. <laughs> Sorry, I'm playing with it. But it's kind of got like this tapered look to it. And I really like it. I use it for highlight. I use it for setting under the eye. I use it for contour. If I do contour, it's usually like a bronzer kind of in specific places. Um, so yeah, this is the e.l.f. blush brush. I really like that one. I got the e.l.f. powder brush specifically for the ambient lighting powders because I didn't want to splurge for that brush that everyone said that you needed if you use them. So if I wanted it like really noticeable, like for their mood light and that sort of thing, I would use this and you could just like perfect size for patting something on the cheeks like that. It's okay. I think I have like a concealer like this around here. Maybe I finally got rid of it. This is a foundation by the original 
e.l.f. line. I don't use this that often. It's not bad for like under the eye or I was using this uh, with Keir Weiss's cream foundation when I had that. So again, not bad. I think it was a buck so. And look, it's still still hanging in strong. These are really old. I'm going to say at least a decade. At least. Which makes me sound old. Okay, I think this is my full like one brand and then it's just going to be miscellaneous because you know how we all end up with those weird ones that maybe came with a palette or maybe were on sale at one point or something. <laughs> so this is my Sappho collection. <laughs> this seems like too much, isn't it? Well, you know, use what you got. Oh, this actually isn't Sappho. How did you get in here? Anyway. <laughs> so, this is the newest version by Sappho, and I think they've even done a newer one now that is silver. And this was like, do you remember this kind of like toothbrush thing? And it's super dense, and it's not supposed to soak up as much product, because it was kind of the alternative to sponges, because everyone's saying, oh, sponges use up so much product. So this, it's supposed to stay on the tip of the bristles, and you rub it in. I like it. I do like a, a sponge more, <laughs> but that's all personal preference. I like it for like a top blending. It seems like it blends the top without messing up what's underneath. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> all right. This is my all time. If you're going to get one brush from Sappho for your face, blush brush, they have this same brush, but again, it's silver. This is like their old bamboo that they were doing and you can use this with Sappho's foundation, you can use this with bronzer, and then you can use this with blush. And I've actually done that in that order. So yes, oh like a wet foundation brush in the powder and it doesn't ruin it for some reason. <laughs> oh I know that's so like skeezy, squeamy, whatever. Um, but yes, best brush I own. I think my favorite. If I wanted to be dramatic, I would say I would die without it. Obviously I wouldn't, but I'd be really sad if I ever lost that one. This is their foundation brush. It's okay if you like a flat foundation brush. Again, I use it with like cream products. It's not bad with the RMS or the Keir Weiss one. Oh my gosh, it's Eco Tools. Well, it's got a bamboo handle, so maybe that's why I included it. This is one of my favorite to, uh, to put the concealer down before I blend it. That sounds so high maintenance. Maybe I'm more high maintenance than I thought. This is their lip brush. I wouldn't recommend it for that. Again, I use this for concealer. Spot concealing, sometimes under the eyes, sometimes around the nose. It's a little bit smaller. You can see there. I have a concealer brush. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I never use this one. <laughs> I don't think it's as good as the lip ones. It's a little too stiff and not as fluffy. So I think that's a bit of a pass for me, honestly. Um, the crease brush I do like. It's just like light and fluffy. Oh, there's powder on it. These are dirty. Can you tell I use them? Um, this is the eyeshadow. It's a little denser, but it's still kind of fluffy. So you can actually pat shadow down and you can blend it with this, which is nice. But I prefer the crease brush because that's just how I learned from YouTube and Wayne Goss and all those good people. This is the angle brush. I actually think it's a little too thick. I hate to say that. Um, for what I want to do with an angle brush, I usually want to do my brows or a liner and it's a bit much. So I don't think that one's necessary. Okay, we're gonna go through the rest of the dirty ones because then they need to go to the bathroom so that I finally wash them. Maybe I'll write below if I actually did it. Probably not. <laughs> Cause it's Friday when I'm filming this. Hakuhoto Sephora Pro Brush. I don't know if you can get this anymore. I bought this on sale. I don't like it. I try and make myself use it, but it's okay. Use it for blush sometimes. You don't need it. This is super random. I think this is from the drugstore. It's still <laughs> Spa Essentials. And this is actually my favorite blending brush. I wish I knew where to get that. Maybe Walmart? It's like duo fiber and it's just like short and it's not too dense so you can really blend things out really beautifully. I love that. This is the RMS does it not say on here? Well, it is the foundation brush and it's got like little swirls because it's supposed to blend it out like your fingers on your face. And I've been really into using the RMS on cover up on my full face. I'm not wearing that today. I'm trying a new product, but, uh, and I think this works beautifully for that. That's what it's meant for, right? So this is my old favorite foundation brush that I haven't used in a while. I think this was like with um, Makeup Forever's foundation. I really liked this and I'm pretty sure I got this off Yes Style or something. 
You know, it's like tilted and really dense. There's a lot of brushes you could use instead of this. I don't, I don't know why I mentioned that. I don't know why that's here. <laughs> and we're gonna shove this in just because I already had an Eco Tools. This is their Duo Fiber Brush. Um, it's not my favorite unless you want something that can sit on your table without sheer finished kabuki. Eh. Okay, moving on. <laughs> I have a love hate with flower brushes. I love. I used to love the brand flower. I'm still tempted sometimes. Um, I like that they're flat on one side so they don't roll off vanity, that kind of thing. Um, this powder brush I honestly only use to get powder from under my eyes. You know, if you're baking or if you have any eyeshadow fallout, it's not bad for that. It's really fluffy. It's really, really fluffy. Um, these are their eyeshadow brushes. I brought, I bought two because I thought I was super going to like them. I almost never use them, so that's really sad. And this is their, like, angle brush. And again, I don't super like it. I think I've used it for brows before. I'm sorry, Drew. I love you. <laughs> I just don't like these brushes. This is an Urban Decay shadow brush that came in the original Naked palette. And I used this, like, every day of high school. And I never cleaned it, and it was really gross. But it's a good brush. <laughs> um, this is the Makeup Geek. You remember when everyone talked about Makeup Geek? I don't have any Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Oh, I remember. They were like the foils and I didn't like them. Anywho, this brush is good though. This is the Makeup Geek uh, Soft Dome Brush. And I like it. It's kind of tapered. So getting it like right in the crease is pretty good. Instead of like a blown out look. Which I usually go for, but... I like that one and this is the body shop I was really trying to find like the perfect crease brush and I can't believe it ended up being like that spa one um it's okay I use it when everything else is dirty <laughs> Ooh. if I didn't have so many brushes and even though I have so many brushes I would I would want more of 100% pures this is their flat kabuki brush it's so soft it's so nice it's like this adorable pinky nude it's vegan cruelty free so they're um whatever you want to call it fake bristles fake bristles anyway i really want to try more of their brushes but i'm gonna try to hold off because i have a lot of brushes <laughs> this video is just going so downhill there's there's too much there's too many this is an eye of horus one that i think came with an order or something. Um, I like it for powder. I think it is a powder brush. It's not bad. This is a Sephora. Oh, I remember buying this. This is like teenage Sienna in Sephora. And it was $15 and I thought it was so expensive. <laughs> I still kind of think $15 is expensive, but you know. And it has like this little shader that I really like for doing around the eye, kind of smoky. And it has this liner that I love for lining and for eyeliner. <laughs> that I love for eyeliner and brows. Um, it's kind of annoying to put somewhere because you almost have to damage like one end and it's hard to pick. But I really like that brush. This one's also dual ended. This I think came with like an A Cosmetics thing. And it's got like a concealer I think on one side and then you can cover it which I like. Why don't I use this more for travel? I honestly don't know. And then it's got like this and it puffs up. So it's like dense and then fluffy. I like it. I do. I don't know where to get it, but I like it. What did this come with? No. Okay, we're in the final stretch. I actually have some spoolies. Oh. <laughs> Can you see how many's in the final stretch? It's a lot. Um, that I saved from, I think, clear brow gels, and I just used them to brush my brows, and I rewash them. You can also send these in, but I just think they're helpful to have, so... Why not reuse, right? Oh my god, apparently I'm a spoolie junkie. This comes in a set from Besame. It's really pretty. Um, it's got a little spoolie and then it has, I think this is a liner for their cake mascara and then you can use it as a liner and I do like it for that. And because we were talking about Besame, I don't know that I, <laughs> I don't know that I would recommend this. This is like, it's so soft and I always think that I would use it and when you're really powdered I think it's great for that but now that I'm dewy I, I have no need. This is like you powder your face like old school with the powder puff and loose powder like in the vintage tutorials from the 40s and 60s and that kind of thing. It must be from the 60s. Yeah. <laughs> so I got it as like a finishing brush. It's their finishing brush. It's so soft. If you need something like that 
why not? But um, you're not really going to be applying anything with it. But it looks pretty. <laughs> I can never get rid of anything. Um, this is an angled liner brush from Sephora. This is the one I use every day for my brows. If I'm not using a pencil, if I'm using a powder, that is. This is a Smashbox one that I really like. It's actually really soft and nice. This is a Sephora dual thing that I never use. I think it's for brows, but it's not good. This is a Sigma blending brush. I like it. It's like a uh, shorter, so that's not bad for travel. And this is the Cure Weiss lip brush with a lid. And I probably didn't need to spend as much as I spent on that, but it's really good to have a lip brush when you're a lipstick addict like me. I don't usually wear these nudes. I'm wearing a nude today. How weird is that? Oh my gosh, we're still not done. This is the longest video ever. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light that I thought I would like a lot more than I do. Why don't I use this more? It came in a really cool coffin. They're actually super soft. I think because I'm just not a huge contour person, but it feels nice, so maybe I'll, I'll give it another try. Oh, it doesn't close. <laughs> I was going to say it doesn't close, and then it closed. And then I have a Sephora, this is a little travel set brushes that I like and I do always take with me traveling. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury, I think they have a new version of this um, that I wouldn't recommend, it's too expensive for what it is. It's made in China, it smells funny, and the brushes aren't as good as uh, the full size. Boom! That was a speedy finish at the end. I should have probably been like that the whole time. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm so sorry for the long video. I hope you learned something. Yeah? No? Yeah? And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Please keep smiling out there, okay? Bye!